Easy bacon, peppers, and cheese home fries. I've already got my bacon started back here. But it's a really good time to get them out before they get too rigid. But I'm going to end up chopping them. Going to bring it over. Shake off that fat because we're going to use it. And rest the bacon in a nice pile on that paper towel. All right, so back to the pan. I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of butter. As if the bacon didn't give us enough fat, it really didn't because we've got some potatoes that we're going to cook. Make sure that the butter is moving around in there. While that melts down, let me talk to you about these potatoes. All right, now if you look in the uh, produce section now, they've got these bags of potatoes and they're microwavable bags of potatoes. And you can find them in sweet potato, uh, red bliss, new potato. What I love about them is, is they give you a microwave time of like eight minutes. Uh, but if you microwave them for less than that, like six minutes, they're perfect for home fries. If you can't find them in the bag, just steam them yourself or boil them until they're just before pork tender because you're still gonna end up cutting them down. And I like to do the smaller ones into quarters and maybe the bigger ones into eighths or six. All right, so I'm gonna get these taters into the pan. I like to try and do one layer. So I'll get them in and then move them around. And then I just kind of like to let them sit. You know, you don't touch them because you want color to happen on as many sides as possible before you get all the veggies into the game plan. All right, so I'm gonna let these potatoes cook and roast until they get nice and colored on one side. While that's happening, it's a good time to just go ahead and chop down the bacon. This is just regular old bacon. Uh, you can use center cut if you like it thicker, or you can just get that slab bacon and make it as thick as you like. Divide and conquer. If you do it right, it'll start crinkling itself for you. <laughs> All right, don't go too far down the bits. It's bacon, we wanna chew it. All right, bacon is chopped. Pop that here and take a look at my potatoes. This is what you're looking for, right? Look at that. As you give the pan a little bit of a toss, it reveals all those golden browns. So I'm gonna push everything to the side, give myself some room in the center of the dance floor <laughs> for a dance off between peppers and onions. Now these aren't your average ordinary peppers, right? You can get these in the produce section. They usually come in a big old bag. You can get like yellow, orange, and red all in the same bag. Sometimes I'll keep them whole and just blister them on the grill and serve them alongside a steak. Or if you're doing steak and eggs for your brunch, perfect for that. There's a going right into my pan, right to the center. Leaving the seeds. These are like sweet peppers, so they're not like really spicy. And then just some sweet onions that I nicely chopped up. Gonna get those in as well. Right into the center. Now, over the top of that, I love to add a seasoning blend. You know, I also like to make seasoning blends, but when you find a good one at the grocery store, go with it. It's just a steak seasoning blend. It's got a lot of like garlic, onion, some paprika in there. I see some fennel seed even, which is really fun in this right here. And it also has salt. So check the uh, ingredients on your steak seasoning. Not all have salt, but this does, and a little bit of pepper and some red chili flakes. I'm gonna get in here in the center with my tongs and actually move everything around. Keep them in the center on the dance floor. I'm gonna chop up the scallions. When I post these photos for breakfast online, one of my favorite questions to ask is, is it too much or nah? <laughs> Too many scallions, I think there can never be enough. Uh, for this recipe, you know, I share with you four, but you know, if you look in your crisper and you got a bag full of them and your team scallions, go in, it's brunch. All right, so scallions done, nice and chopped, waiting for my breakfast potatoes. All right, I'm gonna add the bacon right back into the pan. Good time to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And remember I said in my steak seasoning, there's already some salt and pepper. So this is just a nice note over the top. Make sure everything gets seasoned and give that a toss. And we're done. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. Simple to put together. I add a little bit of cheese right now and give it a toss. Those clusters that are held together by the spackle of cheese. 
the spackle of life. <laughs> and then get these out right into a serving bowl. The sun coming out. Look at that. So colorful. Cheesy goodness. Mm, mm. Look at that. Doesn't get any better. Hit it with the scallions. Let me see. Is this Instagram worthy? What's really bringing it together is that steak seasoning, that crunch that you're getting, that team texture crunch from the onions, the peppers, 